Hi hey everyone and welcome to another video with me Peter Driver here from Scary Fly. So today we're going to do another little soft hackled spider pattern. Another great early season pattern. Catches a lot of fish in those blustery days. Uh, springtime, a little bit of heat coming on. A few hatches starting to come off and this little hare's ear and partridge spider has been a treat for me over the last number of years. So uh, <coughs> to start we're going to put in a size 30, size 12, 303. The Haku Barbless Hook. Love these for the, the spiders and wet flies. And we got some uh, classic wax here from Semplify Olive Tine Tread. And we're just going to start that off. Take away our waste. We got some medium copper wire here. We're going to add that in for our rib. No, actually, wrong. We are going to add in some sulky flat copper tinsel. Stuff I love using, especially against the hair's ear. So I'll always use a flat either tinsel or wire. When I'm tying in, <coughs> excuse me, hair's ear bodies if I'm putting a rib on it because wire tends to sink in between, into the hair's ear too much and it's completely, has no impact on the fly really as such, only for it gives a strength, yes, but it does no real visual impact on the fly. Or if, if I'm doing with hair's ear or any kind of furs like that and I want a rib, I'll either use oval or flat tinsels and that way it sits kind of more down into the fur, yes, but uh, is, is far more um, visual. Because it won't sink into the first that much, okay? A little bit of natural hairs here dubbing. Just dubbed onto that thread there. And we'll just build our body. Nice size body. A little bit of meat in these wet flies, this particular wet fly. Dub on just a little bit more to get me up near the head. Lovely. Now we'll take our rib and in the opposite direction. We'll rip it around. Nice few turns out. We want that little copper look to come out lovely with that body. And the wheel, once that fly gets wet in the water, that copper rib will just jump out of that body. It's beautiful stuff. That's it there. That's the sulky. It's the copper sulky. <coughs> we use fantastic stuff for, for ribbon, hair's ears. Most of you know my hair's ears, nymphs and all that are all ripped. They give it a little bit of a, a dubbing brush there just to level out that body. A little bit of... Um, Natural grey partridge. Strip away the down one. And we're just going to tie that in there like that. I've been known to put a tail on this one as well, sometimes. Very similar, especially if there's some March Browns hatching. Catch our tip there. And as usual, I often find one and a half turns or so is enough. Bring our tread through our hackle. Your scissors, snip away the waste, and just fold that hackle back over the fly nicely with your finger and thumb, and tie off, creating a nice little head up there at the eye hook. Very simple little spider pattern, little wet fly pattern, but absolutely deadly. Um, especially on a nice spring blustery day, a little bit of heat in the air, nice breeze going across the flats or the riffles, and uh, throat are starting to see some emergers and stuff show up a few, bit of fly life and they're coming out of a long winter sleep they're hungry and that's something certainly they will they'll come up and have a look at a couple of drops of lacquer there to finish it off there we have it, folks lovely simple little spider pattern uh really super effective and um hope you enjoy tying that one hope you enjoy fishing it even more see you all in the next video don't forget to hit the subscribe button and if you need any fly tying or fly fishing gear do check out www.piscarifly.com See you all next time.